Hey, hey, welcome back. It's me, SB. So I believe this is part six or seven. I'm not really sure right now because there have been several things going on in my life and I kind of get lost in what I'm doing craft wise. But we are going to be decorating. Uh, let's see. So I did this last time. Um, I put a giant hole in it and I put a piece of cardstock, I think, behind it. And I thought, oh, that looks kind of neat. Anyways, uh, let me see. I wasn't real keen on how this came out even after I looked at it. So we might add some other stuff to it later. But for now, we are going to work on the front page of our folio here. Um, hmm what to do. So we got a pocket here, a little something for stuff here. Well, obviously we want the front to be kind of plain. I mean, not crazy plain, but let's see, maybe we'll do yeah, let's do a page behind it. I'm going to move some stuff here. Let's see. So I'm trying to use my scraps and try not to use... It doesn't really matter what it says on there because we are going to just use the tops here. There we go. So yeah, we're just going to get right into it. Um, I really don't have any plan as to what I'm doing. I'm just going to do it and see what happens. I think that is the best way to do things, really. It's good to have a plan every once in a while, but... I think it's also good to kind of do what you feel. You know, like that song. <laughs> what song, you ask? I don't know, but there's got to be a song out there that says do what you feel. <laughs> do what you feel. Feel what you do, right? Yeah, so let's just go right here. Hmm. There we go. And we're just going to kind of overlap them. Like that. Oh, that's going to look nice. All right. So I printed myself out another little dauber thing and went and bought these little spongy doodads from uh, Michael's Craft Store. And yeah, it came out pretty well. We're going to try it because this one tends to, I bought those little makeup sponges to put in there, but you have to cut them down because, you know, you have to stuff it in there. And I don't know. I like the way it works, but we're going to try this way to see if it works with our faux distress stuff here. And I hear my puppies over there. They always manage to come out here whenever I am doing stuff. So I'll be right back. So it's another windy, crazy day. And the pups, they think they hear something. And then they want to go outside. And yeah. So it's pretty much the extent of my day whenever it's windy. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to use this grayish watercolor. Hopefully I'm in frame. Yeah, and I always have a little spray bottle of water near. And then I'm just going to put a little drop of glycerin over here off to the side. And I'm just going to rub that in to my little spongy thing. And that should do it. And it's just I always put a little bit too much water in these and it gets really really crazy wet 
It's more of a gray, really. So I'm just going to dab it on there. A little dab will do ya. It's not as convenient as having an ink pad, like those Distress inks, or whatever they're called. I think they're actually water-based, right? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. I never pay attention, because I don't buy that stuff, so... So yeah, I think that's going to work. Let's test it out on a piece of paper here. It's a little watery. Let me just uh, kind of yeah, it's more of a gray color, but that's okay. We'll we'll get it. Now, see, the only thing with this is that it's really really flat. I'm not real sure if I like that. I'm just going to go over this. Go over the top of this, just like that. Yeah, I don't know if I like this. It's kind of flat. Like, I don't, I don't like the flat. I like the round one. That's nice. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll have a use for that. And I'm going to have to get another little... See, it's just a little spongy thing that I cut. And that's the thing that if they're too big, they don't fit in there. So. And here's that little pack that I bought from Burlington Coat Factory. These are much better than the ones that I bought at Walgreens. And yeah, all you do is you stuff them in here. Like I said, if they're too big, they don't they don't squish in there properly. And they wind up popping out by themselves. Ish, maybe. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to trim this. <clears throat> Make it a little more rounded. Yeah, that's the problem with having like little DIY tools. And you have to make adjustments. There we go. Let's try that. Yeah, these are definitely better than the ones that I bought from Walgreens. Because the ones that I bought from Walgreens started falling apart really fast. I mean, they just started degrading. Ah, there we go. That one worked perfectly. Okay. This is definitely better because I like the rounded tip. Anyways, let's go ahead and do this again. I'm going to add a little droplet there. This time I just added it directly. Not as much water as I did last time, and we're just going to go in there. Oops. There we go. Alright, there we go. That's much better. So now I should be able just to rub it. There we go. Yeah, I mean, that has its place, but I think it just soaks up too much of of the pigment or the water I mean and it makes it more difficult to kind of do the little daubing thing you know oh no see if you cut them too small they start popping out over there. Let me just add a little dab of water there. It's getting a little dry. There you go. You see how nicely that just goes on there? It's so much better than that other one. Oh no, 
see. What a tragedy. I think it's because it's thinner. I mean, you could just use these by themselves. You don't have to put them in a little holder thing. But, I don't know. I use my giant nails here. It's about time to remove these. Okay, that is going to get annoying. I like the way it comes out. It looks really nice with the watercolors. I think it gives a nice, pretty effect. Alright. Let me find a different one and... See, this is the old one. Here. And it is like just falling apart and these kind of stay together a little better so who knows I just need a round one I'll try that one see how giant they are though it's like the bigger they are they do not fit correctly When it's slightly bigger than there we go. That should work a little better now. Yeah, it seems like a waste to cut these, but you can reuse these because they don't they don't fall apart as easily as the other ones. There. Alright. We'll try this one again. We'll see if I can get it to work a little better. It just, it dries so fast. Alright. Enough of messing with the little dauber things. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Okay, so this is gonna, I don't know why I did it on that side. I was thinking, nah. See, I might even just, see, that's why I was like, I don't even know why I did that side. It's going to be covered. There, let's cut that off. We're going to cover that and put it just like this. All right, I like that. Let's go ahead and glue this on. And we're gonna spread that out there. So in case you didn't know, I am sort of a gamer, <laughs> I guess. Um, I do like to play, you know, games on the PC, on consoles and stuff, Xbox. PlayStation, PS4 is what I have currently. And I recently got done playing The Last of Us. So I don't know if you've heard of The Last of Us, but they have a series, a TV series, of the game, of the same title, The Last of Us. And I watched the game, or I watched the show... And I had previously played the game, but I was always too scared to, to play it. Like, I had it for years, like ever since pretty much it came out. And I was always too scared to play it. Like, I would start playing it, I would get past, like, a certain point, and you wind up in, like, an abandoned building, and you're having to fight, like, these mutated creature things, you know, the people that are infected. And I would always turn it off because I would always get scared. And then after I saw the show, I was like, oh my god, why was I so scared of that game? I don't know. 
And I played it and I recently completed it and oh my god. It is such a good game. I mean the movie or the show was pretty good. And it like just invoked emotions in you that you didn't like think that a show or a game could invoke. You know those type of emotions. But it really gets you thinking. Um, makes you wonder because I'm pretty sure there are people out there that you know, have gone through something where, you know, a situation where you would do anything for your child or, you know, you would, if you haven't seen it, I'm not going to put out too many spoilers, but it is definitely a watch. I would, they only have it on HBO Max though, so, you know, kind of sucks, but maybe eventually it'll come out on other platforms, but I doubt it, but it's pretty good. I enjoyed it and for what it is, it was pretty good. All right, so we got our little background here. I think we're gonna add a little more, um, you know, stuff around it here. I'm gonna try to use this so that way I can just kind of go over the side like that. But you see, it's already dry. It's crazy. But I'm gonna go over it with this reddish brown here and hopefully we can utilize this here and I'm just going to put a little bit of glycerin back on there just so we can kind of need something glycerin just kind of helps See, I don't know how I feel about this. I guess for large areas it'll work. Yeah. That looks okay. on there. Oh my. I guess it soaked up a lot of water on that side. Whew, man, that wind just is pretty scary. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that. Decorate on top of it. And maybe add some of this over the top and then maybe put some stuff underneath and then add this on top. I don't know. Well, hmm. Or maybe we'll do... hard to say. Here's the pink one that I did. I used, um, I'll put a link to the video to this in the iCards and in the description. So if you're curious on how I made this, you can go check that out. I did mess up a few times because as you can see here, it's kind of, it's got the regular paper behind it because I didn't properly put it on there but you know what I think I'm going to use a piece of this and I'm just going to rip it and wherever it rips it rips and then we'll decorate underneath and then Maybe we'll add some of this to the edges, like underneath. Yeah, but I'm going to cut these here. 
because I want them to be kind of thin. So yeah, I used matte medium for this and PVA glue for the napkin. But yeah, go check out that video if you're curious. I did have a little trouble doing it. But I figured it out in the end. <laughs> Having some crazy winds here. Some crazy, crazy winds. Let's just cut that off. There we go. We're going to add that right there. Okay. So I think I have an idea of what I'm doing. So we're just going to add strips of glue to this side. And I'm not going to worry about whether or not it's completely glued down. Mm-hmm. Pop you right there. And it should reactivate that PVA glue, hopefully. It's very, very wrinkly now. Here we go. Let's just cut that off. I think this would make a cute... I mean, I don't know when this video is going to go live, but right now, at this moment, I am... We are pretty close to Easter. So I think this would be a good way to decorate eggs. You know, like just put glue over the egg and then pop these over it. Oh my god, that looks so cute. Too bad I don't have kids. Because I would be making stuff like that. Of course, you know, the thing is if you do that, then you're not going to be able to crack them. Maybe if you use them over the top, like for confetti eggs, that would look really cute. I know my mom, when we used to do it when I was a kid, we used to use tissue paper like the gift wrap like this stuff here like that <clears throat> and we would use that for over the top of it and they always looked really pretty and then of course we would dye them with vinegar and just regular old food dye and we would make confetti eggs I never understood why people would like boil eggs and then dye them I thought that was nasty I was like gross I don't understand why people do that but then again people don't understand why we put confetti in eggs and then crack them over each other's head who knows yeah I was talking to my husband the other day and he told me that he had never even heard of confetti eggs. And I was like, what? What did y'all used to do? Like for Easter? <laughs> and he told me that, oh, we would just hunt for eggs, like the hunt for the little plastic eggs that had stuff. I'm like, we used to do that too, but we also had confetti eggs. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Let me know. What do y'all do for Easter? If you even celebrate Easter? Um, I don't celebrate Easter anymore simply because I don't have kids and, you know, I don't have kids. Okay, let me just see. Yeah, let's do that. I think that's going to look really cute. And we'll just put some something on the inside. We're just going to go with the butterfly theme, yeah? We'll just put a bunch of different butterflies in here. My goodness, that wind. Okay. Let me see if I have any flowers. Um, maybe, let's see. Well, 
I kind of want a flower. Let's actually switch this one for that one. Turn. A respect. Let's see. Just don't want to knock anything down. Here's a flower. Hmm. It's a big butterfly moth type thing. Maybe we can use this and have a big one. And let me see if I can find a flower. Here's this one. Just need something that'll stand out. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, those are too small. I like the way this looks. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Let me see if I find my little tiny scissors so I can cut it out correctly, but it's okay. This is just a sticker that I printed. So yeah, I think in one of my other videos, I was talking about a 12 by 12 printer. And I was saying I didn't know if they made them or not. Well, I looked it up finally. And whoops. <laughs> oh man, this happens to me every time my camera stops recording. Anyways, what I was saying was I was just talking about the 12 by 12 pin printer and they are really expensive. So I don't foresee myself getting one. <laughs> Anyways, I put all everything on like the butterflies and everything. I added some extra stuff. Yeah, it was a while before I even realized it wasn't recording. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> Isn't that just joyful? Okay. There we go. Now we should be able to get glue out of there. Good. Okay, so I'm just going to glue down the edges only on this. And I'm going to try to... Okay, the precision tip is taking way too long. I am impatient today. <laughs> and we're going to try to flatten it out as best we can. I'm kind of thinking maybe you could put like some, I don't know, confetti or glitter or little bits and bobbles in there. Of course, I don't have little bits and bobs, so no bobs, no bits. So we're just going to go with this. All right. Let's see. I'm going to set it down right there. And I'm just going to flatten it out as flat as we can. There we go. Just spread out that glue a little bit. Oh, that looks okay. That looks okay. I am not hating it. Interesting. I'm pretty sure you guys would definitely do a better job than what I do. I am not that like talented at um, creating pretty things, you know? I'm. Some people are just better at it than others. I am not a designer. I. I don't even know how to interior interior design my house, so 
I go to other people's houses and I'm like, man, how do they do that? It's It looks so pretty in here. And uh, my house is just like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I mean, everybody has their, their own aesthetics, I guess. I just, like I said, I always do what I feel. And sometimes what I feel is not that pretty. <laughs> Anyways, oh, look at that. Okay, that doesn't look half bad. I am actually okay with that. It just, it needs stuff on this side. Let me, let me just grab this and go over this. See, it's still, it's still kind of wet on this side. There we go. Just add a little bit extra here. Just to kind of dull down that that, I don't know, Easter yellow here. Hey, hmm. didn't plan that, but it definitely happened. There we go. Let's just spritz a little bit of water over here and get a little more damp. There we go. All right, kind of spread that out just a little bit more. Oh, the beauty of watercolors. Wow. I love it. There we go. All right. I think that looks pretty nice, actually. Now, we might add a little extra embellishments here and there. And we are getting a little crazy with that. But that's okay. That still works. That works. We got our little tags. Okay, so with these, I was actually going to use them as another hidden paper clip, but I think we'll save that for later. And I do want to add a closure. And what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to add a button here with like a faux brag, Brad, Brad, <clears throat> I feel like I'm squeaking. And let me grab some wire. And you're not going to need anything too fancy for this to create this. You can use like the cheapest wire that you have. I would suggest something thicker than the stuff that you can find at Dollar Tree. Um, it has to be like a craft wire, that's for sure. So, let me see. So, I think this is like a 16 gauge wire, I think, or an 18 gauge one or two. That would be perfect. Um, anything thinner than that is probably not going to work to do this because you need something that will kind of hold its shape. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure this out and just bend it and then cut it. Don't use your good scissors for this, by the way. These are just crappy little scissors that I bought at Dollar Tree, so I use them for everything. All right. And then we're going to pop this right in here, like that, easily. And we're just going to make a brad. And what I like to do is I like to do this and then give it a little twist. It would be easier if I didn't have these long ass nails. But you know, sometimes we go a little crazy and we want to do our nails and that's what I did, and now I can't do anything. <laughs> it is so annoying. I don't understand how people have nails all the time. Okay, that should do it. Actually, I'm going to grab a tool. Let's grab a little tool here. And let's just see if we can get this a little tighter yeah 
that might be too much because we do want you know pop this down just a little bit there we go yeah it's moving around a little bit too much okay so we'll worry about that later so now, if we want to make this button look a little better, we are going to take a piece of pretty paper, a decorative paper here, and we are going to make it look better. So let me see if I have something that I can trace around and I'm just going to trace a circle just a rough circle it's not going to be perfect you just need something as a template so I can cut around it That is a lovely circle that I'm cutting out. There we go. So now we got our circle, and we're just going to go over this with some glue. So basically, I'm going to pop some glue right over, and we're basically just going to, what is, what is it called? Decoupage? So just put glue right over that, put some glue right over the top of that, here we go, and then I'm going to add some glue to my fingers, which are not exactly clean, but we will persevere. So now we're just going to pop that, and we're going to smooth some glue right over the top. I almost always do this wrong, so bear with me. <laughs> and the nails don't help, that is for sure. You wonder why crafters don't have long nails. This is why. Okay. And see how it gets all gummy and gross. That's why I really don't like doing it this way, but add some more glue. I'm just going to spread it out with my fingers. There we go. There. All right, so now we're just going to let that dry. It looks a little gross, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm just going to let that dry, and then I'll be back and show you what I do next. Okay, so we are all nice and dry now. Um, if I did it my original way, I would have put this, the overlay first on top of the button, and then put my little wire in through there but I wanted to try it like this to see if it would work but I don't I don't foresee it working as well but we'll see okay so now we are gonna add this right here and first of all we need a way to close it so we're either gonna use string or ribbon or some elastic or something. I think I'm gonna use elastic just because I think it is easier. And I just have this elastic here. It's pretty thin, um, but for what we're gonna use it for, I think it'll work. You could use whatever kind of elastic you'd like. This is just plain white, so I think what I'm gonna do is just go over it with some watercolor and just kind of, if I can grab it, you know, go like this over the top of it. Of course, this is dry now. After all of that, waiting for the glue to dry. Let's see. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna work. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it down here and just kind of, you know, just so it's not so white. I'm telling you, I'm just like, I can't do anything with these nails. It's like, it's like I don't have fingers anymore. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me why. I just cannot do anything with these nails. Um, that'll probably be my next thing is to remove the acrylic, the acrylic nails. But that'll be later. Okay. Now we're going to measure this out just to see. Uh, I might have to make it a little smaller. So I like to leave a little bit and then we can adjust that. Yeah. I think that's going to work. So yeah, I like to leave maybe like an extra couple of inches just to be on the safe side because I don't want to have too little. I'd rather have too much than too little, really. Alright, so now we are going to punch a hole in it. And if you don't have any of these little eyelets, what I suggest you do is grab some extra paper that you have like this and just glue it to the inside, like right here, and then punch your hole out just to reinforce it. But since I'm going to be using an eyelet, I'm just going to simply go in between. That's why I left that the way I left it. And we're going to punch a nice little hole. Probably about right there. Just punch it out. And we're going to add a pretty little eyelet. And I think I'm going to use this copper one. Yeah. Use that. Grab my little tool. I swear this wind is getting tiresome. If it's not windy, it's something else here. I mean, I talk about it, I think every time I do a video, it's like. There's nothing but wind. There we go. Perfect. Easy. See? Now we got a little eyelet there. And so now I'm going to add this right there. And yeah, it's going to be sticking out and you're going to be able to see it. Be okay. All right. So let's go ahead and add our elastic. I just wanted to make sure it was going to go through. Yeah, for reals, I don't know. I, I can't, I can't work with the nails. I'm telling you, it's like I'm disabled now. I mean, I'm not trying to make light of it or anything, but I feel like I can't use my fingers anymore. There we go. Just gonna adjust here. Go ahead and give it a good tie. If I can, oh my gosh, I'm telling you. I guess I rely on my nails a lot. That's probably why. Okay. So I'm actually not liking the way that is looking. And I cannot get this. I know I am struggling right now. The struggle. Okay. 
I don't understand why I'm struggling so much right now. Sometimes you you have those days where you're just like, nope. <laughs> Yeah, I think after this, I am going to take my nails off. Just gonna pull them off. Just kidding. I'm gonna go soak them in some acetone and get these acrylics off. There we go. Let's pull that tight. All right, so now I'm going to take my little tool here and just try to get that. So now I'm going to have to actually fold them. I know, you're thinking, why are you doing this? Because why not, right? Yeah, if I was another crafter, it would my videos would definitely be a little smoother. <laughs> Unfortunately, I am not. Okay. Okay. So now we got everything moved around. This is, there we go, there, that actually looks okay, I kind of like that. Let's just grab a little bit of this and go over the top. I don't know if it's doing anything, but we are definitely going somewhere. All right, there we go. So now we got our little closure here that we can now wrap around. Oh, that looks good. Oh, it looks like a little package. That is cute. Okay. I actually quite like that. That looks really good. In diddly do. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. I like now that we don't have anything to tie. We can just close it like that if we'd like. Just open it up. And this is kind of hitting hidden. I could have probably cut those a little more. I just didn't want to rip the pocket open. There we go. I think that is pretty good. So now we can add a bunch of other stuff if we'd like. We've got a little pocket for something. To put stuff. Oh, how cute. Or just, you know, to look pretty, we can add a butterfly in there. Why not? Just to, you know. Yeah. I'm okay with that. So there you go. We made and decorated a folio, added some extras. Really, the thing that I was going to use this for was to hold ephemera in, you know. So that way I can add my little extras that I had to this just to, you know, have an extra place for things. Whether or not it's going to get used for that, I don't know. We shall see. But I think that's it. I think we just finished our folio. Um, let me know what you think. Are you going to make something similar? Or have you made something similar in the past? I hope that my nails will allow me to do things. <laughs> I, I swear. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we we are done. 
here it is. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about the back. I definitely, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of it, really. Let me know what you think. What could be done differently on here? Like I said, I am not a designer. I am not good at making things pretty, but they are definitely me, that is for sure. Okay, well anyways, um, thank you for watching and let me know if you are gonna do something like this or you were following along with me and doing something similar. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next video. Stay crafty. Bye.